Good morning. I bet you all wonder where I've been. Well, my um, solo adventure for November and on into, oh, yeah, November and on into the new year was cut short. Um, I was out for about two and a half weeks, absolutely loving it. Um, uh, have met a lot of wonderful people, nice, kind people. Um, I was in Sparta, North Carolina. I received a phone call stating that my husband had a stroke while he was at the barber shop and that he was being taken to our local hospital and then from there he was life flighted down to um, Riverside in Columbus, Ohio. So as soon as we heard that, Gigi, she made up her mind and I would have done too. But she turned north, and uh, Buddy, he just followed behind. Uh, we hit I-77, set the cruise to 60. Hi there. Look at who I see. Yeah, you're a camera. Looky. Okay. Oh, <laughs> he's a little shy. Traffic was light. Ziggy and myself set back for a ride. Uh, we did stop um, for potty breaks and to eat and to stretch my legs. Um, Sparta, North Carolina around 11, 11.30 that morning. And that was on November 23rd. And I was able to park Gigi and Buddy in a um, drive, two car drive through parking spot at the Riverside Hospital. And I was in Eddie's room by 7 o'clock that night. A, a good drive, um, straight through. And when I got to his room, Eddie was tickled to death to see me. Um, he had lost his speech and um, the mobility in his right side. However, throughout the night, um, we worked together and... Um, he was able to um, get some of his speech back and his mobility basically came back all together. So he's already on Kunanum or Warfarin for, or blood thinners for his titanium um, heart valve. So they didn't put him on anything because it would interfere with the blood thinner he's already on. So the doctors was extremely pleased with his comeback just in one night. And um, they sent him home the next day. He's been doing fabulous. He still has some speech um, issues, but he's working on that. We're, we're saying um, nursery rhymes and doing mouth exercises and so forth, but he's coming along. Um, we are now, um, he had one request while we was in the hospital, is that he wanted to go to um, the Grand Canyon in January. So that is where we are eventually heading. We're going to be gone about a month or so. Uh, and we're taking a tipsy turby route there. We 
started out thinking we was going to um, Arkansas to spend a week camping. However, the weather is not cooperating, and we are following the weather. Texas and across um, New Mexico and into Arizona. So, um, it's we have no really plans. We just know where we want to go, and we'll get there eventually. So, um, but we are staying in an Airbnb tonight in Mississippi. And then hopefully on down to Louisiana we go. So um, that's the story. We're doing well. I may get to go back on the road um, for um, to finish my this leg of my solo adventure. Um, but we'll see how Eddie does with this trip. And we'll go from there. So... Thank you for following me on my solo trip. Um, I have had a fabulous time and look forward to do it again and meeting new people. Um, in the meantime, follow Eddie and I um, as we travel across the country heading west. You have a great day. See you in the funny pages. Bye-bye.